a North Korean soldier has safely defected to the south via a portion of the heavily fortified border rarely visited by outsiders. North Korean soldiers have occasionally fled through the land border. But Thursday's defection came nearly 40 days after another North Korean solid across the jointly controlled area at the border amid a barrage of bullets fired by comrades. He was shot multiple times and remains hospitalized in South Korea. Read, North Korean defector sprints across border amid hail of bullets. A UNC special investigation team investigation revealed North Korea's actions during the November escape twice violated the UN armistice agreement that ended the Korean War by firing weapons across the military demarcation line, MDL, and when the defecting soldier actually temporarily crossed the MDL. A UN command statement said officials notified the North's military of these violations and requested a meeting to discuss the investigation results and measures to prevent future such violations. The soldier was shot multiple times and required emergency surgery in South Korea. While treating the wounds, surgeons removed dozens of parasites from the soldier's ruptured small intestine including presumed routworms that were as long as 27 centimeters which may reflect poor nutrition and health in North Korea's military. The JSA, jointly overseen by the UNC and by North Korea, is inside the 4-kilometer-wide demilitarized zone, which has been the de facto border between the Koreas since the war. Seoul's Defense Ministry says there was no shootout when the latest North Korean soldier used a different section of the border to defect. It says the motive for the defection is under investigation. About 30,000 North Koreans have defected to South Korea mostly via China since the end of the 1950-53 Korean War. Copyright 9 Digital Proprietary Limited 2017